Pereira. He lands oh, another left. He lands his straight right hand. On the belt line. Now this time Pereira gets the right hand through the body. There's a look to him. Seven and eight. He slowed just a little. kind of who Pereira is. And it will say punches right there. Pereira out. But we have, we know less about him. He was immodest enough to tell Andre Ward. Yes, to beat Andre Ward, but... Oh, he's not gonna let him continue, no. It's a stoppage. Bivol versus Barrera. Full fight highlights. Barrera! Bivol! At all times, good luck. Touch him up. Test Bivol. Bivol took full advantage of a crouching Barrera through the first two periods. He landed clean two-handed combinations. See what happens in round one. And better than any opponent Bivol has seen to vision. Max, as we get ready for... And, the, ...and you're the bigger puncher. Doesn't mean there aren't things you're... Sergei Kovalev is considerably more prominent. An accidental headbutt in round two opened a nasty gash over Bivol's right eye, but the upstart boxer remained calm and continued boxing. Bivol in my so I think he's a little bit more diverse than uh. So, you know, we wanted questions answered about Bivol already. The money was less. Guys, did anyone see what? Old? Bivol landed his first heavy-handed shots in the third round, rocking Barrera with a blistering combination, leaving the Cuban stunned. You've made the point often, Jim, what separates fighter paddox fighters, skillful amateurs and pros. His game together, coherently, is to be... Bivol won every fencing match in the middle rounds, jabbing his challenger's face with supreme accuracy. He lands both shots. He lands the left jab. He lands the straight right hand. And he lands the left jab. Really close, Barrera, to say as well. Might have been on the belt line. That was a good right hand. In there, but their punches, on the, for the most part, are about even. Now. Body shot. Now this time, Barrera gets the right hand through to the body, and now there's a hook to the head. Because of the body shots. You crown to the body, then try to come up and land something big over the top. If he doesn't do that, he's going to let this kid stay too strong. Bivol had Barrera hurt badly in the eighth and was applying the pressure to get the KG Cuban out of there. You just don't see many 175 pound fighters who can put weight last night. Good job, buddy. He appears to try to get just a little breather in round nine. Barrera started letting his hands go, essentially fighting for his professional life. From boxer puncher who might as you see in round six, seven, and eight, he slowed just a little, staying strong and staying sharp, as sharp as he was in round one. In round 268 wins and 15 losses as an amateur. He was immodest enough to tell Andre Ward when Ward's advice, Sullivan Barrera, they touch gloves. In the final round, Bivol mounted what would be his fiercest attack of the evening. A missile right hand landed on the mark just in time to close the show for Bivol. Better be as more American champions. We have to get our amateur. Oh, down goes Barrera, and you can see Bivol. The Cuban was completely flustered and barely made it to his feet before the referee reached a count of 10. Harvey not going to let him continue, no. It's a stoppage. The call was completely justifiable, as Barrera couldn't even stand straight or look the referee in the eyes.